Treachery, the five-month search for Kaylee Anthony. This is a tragedy that snowballed out of control. This is not a murder case. This is not a manslaughter case. This is a tragic accident that happened to some very disturbed people. Jose Baez, May 25th, 2011. Introduction 19 feet. That's the distance from the verge of Suburban Drive to the site of Cayley's remains. It's slightly more than the distance of the average person lying on the ground multiplied by three. It's about as far, exactly as far, as the average utility worker needs when he leaves the road to take a piss out of sight. I shift, dropping down to my ankles to try to intuit the scene before the toys and cross. Who came here? What was the look on her face? Was she alone? What was she thinking? In 31 strange days we visited the site in spring and again in midsummer. Now in this continuing narrative we'll visit the murmuring thicket through the late summer, the fall and the Florida winter. We'll watch storms approach, spend themselves and pass on. We'll stand in the woods and experience those storms. We'll return again and again, looking at those woods from different angles, directly above, directly below, from a subatomic scale, and from the perspective of water, air and microbes. We'll look through the trees and through the windows of passing cars. We'll look through the windows of nearby homes. We'll look through the eyes of predators and scavengers. We'll follow the scent of decay into the nostrils of cadaver dogs and we'll study the homeostasis of bacteriums and plant roots. We'll follow the macabre evolution of decomposition, studying how a child's hand becomes finger bones and dust. We'll test the defense case that Kaylee's remains lay in the forest for two weeks. We'll fly backwards in time, two years and two months, to see precisely how those 26 months in the Antony household fed into the five-month search for Kaylee during the second half of 2008. We'll examine how the Lacey Peterson case ties into this one, and vice versa. But when all is said and done, what really matters is the 19 feet. How were those 19 feet enough to defeat countless manhunts for the two-year-old's body when the disposal site was less than one minute's drive from the Antony home. The soft toys provide no answer. The cross doesn't either. What do those 19 feet say about Casey, about Kaylee, about the fabric connecting the Antony's and suburban drive to the rest of Orlando's suburban sprawl? That was Treachery 2, the five-month search for Kaylee Anthony. The next section in this audiobook is Part 1, Mid-July. The next chapter in this audiobook is Chapter 1, Day 1 of 1,043 Days in Jail.